Hi everybody and welcome to another Friday's tutorial. And today I'm going to draw this amazing dog. He's beautiful. And it's a cross uh, between a terrier and a husky. And uh, my colleague asked me to draw this amazing animal. And uh, well, that's no problem. Here uh, in the eyes you can see uh, the influence of the husky. You can see that very pale light blue eyes and they are amazing. So, hello Diego, I'm going to draw you, or at least I'll give it an attempt. And its owner asked me to draw uh, the eyes a little bit more open and to leave out the chain, of course. So, uh, well, that can be arranged. And what you can see here is that I've drawn a helper line. So I divided the image through the midst. And then I measured out about where the eyes are going to be, where the nose is going to be and the chin line. And you can also see the lower lip and the mouth is a little bit open and I thought that was a very charming indeed. A lot of people have asked me to do a tutorial on drawing fur so here it is uh, for paper I'm using a Canson Grey and this is uh, developed for drawing with pastel and pastel pencils my first setup is to find out where everything is going to be in a light pink color. And the first thing, once I get everything about in the right places, is that I start searching for the dark areas. Now this is my main important thing, my first focus, those dark areas of course and um, well on my patreon page I am drawing this life of course it took me two and a half hours so well it's quite okay I think uh, not too much time I did do a uh, pre-study of course but this is my actual drawing in color now let's take a look at the nose the nose is kind of like a, a dark ball sitting on its face, but there are a lot of gradations in values uh, of darkness. You can see the nose entrances and in between the nose entrances uh, the values of the grey are a little bit lighter. And what you can also see is that the nose is not exactly in the middle of the page, but just on the left side of that. Now please take your time when uh, pointing out the nose and I'm putting in an under layer of dark value here with my darkest um, gray pastel pencil. But what is also very important is that you uh, line out the lips uh, in um, uh, in the correct way with the nose. Now we already saw that the mouth is uh, partially opened and you can just see the teeth and you have to keep, keep notice on here on the left side where the lip is coming from underneath that nose. Now the right side of the lip is uh, going past the the knob of the nose itself and you need to line this out correctly otherwise it would look like the dog was having a an overbite or something so keep notice of uh, the alignment from the lips in uh, comparison with the nose now for the eyes uh, there are hairs too of course there's fur the hairs are shorter but the eyelashes are light and the eyelashes are uh, going across the pupils and are going across 
the iris itself. Now, of course, the owner asked me to open up the eyes a little bit more. So she wanted uh, Diego to look upwards, if you want. And in that way, uh, creating more space for coloring in the color of the irises, which is that magnificent blue color. And she also told me that uh, Diego has uh, much bluer eyes than in this actual reference picture. So I will try that too, of course, and make her a nappy owner, <laughs> of course. So I'm putting in the darkness of the pupils. And as you can see, the pupils are quite big. And by drawing in those uh, light colored uh, eyelashes, you really get that husky look. And you can see the influence of the breed husky coming through that terrier and it's uh, quite an amazing combination I think in this case. I think it is a very beautiful dog to draw. Now around the eyes there is an area of dark hairs or well actually you can see the skin shine through the fur coat. Next color is uh, a dark pink and when you watch carefully there is a dark pink in the left ear and especially on the right side of the face and partially on the left cheek of Diego. I'm pointing out again the darker areas and let's take a look at an ear. Here you can see a light stream and because the light is coming from the left of course it is hitting the left side of the ear and partially you can see a few light hairs coming from behind that ear. Now in that ear there are all kinds of hairs going on. There are the little short ones on the tip of the ears. Uh, but there are also uh, those hairs that protect the inner ear and these are much longer. By pointing these hairs out you immediately create the suggestion of fur going on. So I make good use of all this information about the hairs that I see around the ears. And in that way, uh, it is quite easy to use the pastel pencils to create ears and to create that furry effect. And I've zoomed in to the maximum so you can see. And here I'm using just a brush to push in the pigments into the paper and to get that soft feel. Now let's take a look at the nose and this is the part that is the lightest. So first I put in the darkest areas. Those are main important and once you got that going on of course you can uh, get your focus on the light areas. And here also you can see that the light source is coming from the left. So the left side of the face is lighter, while the right side of the snout is all covered in blue. Blue is the uh, shadow color of white. And on the forehead itself, I can see a light and darker ochre. So I'm simply using a light and darker ochre pencil and combine them together, mix them up a little bit and then I go back in with my dark grey. I'm pushing the pigments uh, into the paper and in between the hairs and the markings on, the f on this face are kind of like um, 
strings of hair, patches、uh, going over each other. And by drawing that in, you also immediately create the feeling of fur, of a fur coat of animal hair. And you have to take notice of the shorter and longer hairs. Now this is the light blue that I was talking about, and that light blue I use for all the area that are in the shadow. So on the nose itself, the whole right side of the face, but also the body itself. The light blue is an excellent, excellent shadow color, and it also helps to create. The feel of that husky color. Here I'm using the white, kind of like a blender stick, but also to draw in back、uh, flocks of hair going over my under layer. So I'm simply putting on layers and layers and layers to create that feel of soft. Tiny, but also sturdy hairs, and I try to、uh, keep notice of the way that the hair is growing and is falling down, just、uh, from his body and the way it grows. And well, actually, this kind and type of dog or these kinds of cats that have longer hairs are excellent to practice your fur studies on. And here I'm blurring out the lower area a little bit with the finger. And once you're happy with where every pigment is and、uh, the way that the hairs are growing, then you go in to those last detail. So now I'm using my black pastel pencil. And I put in the darkest area that I want to get the focus on. And of course, those are those eyes, those magnificent eyes, and the nose, the tip of the nose that is a little bit,、uh, well, just to the left of、uh, the middle of our drawing. And I think it's a very playful effect too, that this dog is not all that symmetrical. I love it. Here I'm putting in、uh, the darker areas in the nose, of course, and a little bit of fur between the hairs, just above the nose, and I'm pointing out、uh, the lower lip again.、Uh, but of course, at some point you will have to stop drawing. But I'm just、uh, going over it. At a, a final stage, and push in some、uh, pigments in between the hairs to make them pop out even a little bit more. I also do it here underneath the chin, and I'm using、uh, the white pastel pencil for those final whiskers. I really, really save those to the last. Moment of、uh, completing my drawing, and because I blurred out、uh, the body, all the focus is going now to the face of Jago. Well, I hope、uh, you find these tips handy for you, and、uh, well, of course, also. I hope to see you again next Friday, and、uh, next Friday will be the last recording for 2019, because、uh, 2020 is pushing up, and I'm very curious what that will bring us. So I will see you again, of course, next Friday on YouTube or even maybe on my Patreon page. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.